downstairs. What is it? I mean, what isn't it? For one, I guess I'm still trying to get used to the, this being the real you. Hey, I didn't mean that in a bad way. And even then, why would you care about what I think anyway? Downstairs. What's she even testing on herself anyway? Oh, okay, well the crystal does do something. Okay then. Oh, and that's everyone. Whoa. I've been compiling a batch test case to check for certain suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon? It felt like I was in there for quite a while. You're in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Resuming compilation, 67%. Actually, while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me, given what you've seen, am I a terrible, selfish person? Um, I'm gonna go with no, but... I don't think that's fair to say. I mean, I can't say that you did all the right things, but... I don't know how many people could have if they were actually in your shoes. I wasn't... I mean, Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but... He really did seem to try to put your happiness above all else. Well, we still have time, so I'll return the favour. Anything you'd like to ask me? Why do you even care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you... Because I'm supposed to be testing your believability, that's all. Is that so? Compiling 76%. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while there's time? I mean, I may as well. So, what's with the murders happening here? I mean, this simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I didn't see it in the flashbacks? Because the murders never happened. Which is strange, because it seems to be unavoidable in this simulation based on my memory. Did you figure out why? Not yet, but with what I'm setting up, I'm afraid I'm about to. Oh dear. What happened to me? I mean, uh, Quincy. I don't know. You don't know? After everything that happened, we just went our separate ways. Or perhaps more accurately, I did. Compiling 100%. Okay, it's ready. I've prepared a batch of test scenarios with particular variables. Notably the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you'll be my observer. All you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. Are we going back to the murder mystery again? Look at them to check if they're dead. That's easy but less appealing. Great, now check the bathroom. The bathroom? Yep, I stuffed them there first. Can you not? The bathroom is like the only sanctuary I had left. I mean, he's not wrong. I'll be monitoring and waiting right out here. Are they dead? They're not dead! <laughs> cool. Uh, I see them. Good, now come back out. So, alive or dead? Alive, I think. They aren't moving or responsive, though. Yeah, I've set them on a different layer. Okay, now go back in and out a few more times and report their status. Alright. They're dead! Yay! <laughs> dead, Linry! They're dead! Ugh, you sure? Yes! Okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Just check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? But don't leave! Leave me alone to check my f for more bodies. Okay then, here. Oh, it's the cat. What is this? Your bodyguard. Why are you giving me a cat? <laughs> he protect! <laughs> oh god! Does he also attack? Okay, I'll be back soon, good luck. Oh, wait! God damn it, I knew the cat was going to be relevant somehow, but I didn't think it'd be like this. Do you really protect? Oh, well, there he is. You don't protect. Oh, what the? I am System. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. Behold, a form even you may comprehend. Oh god, who's it going to be? It's RiceBot! <laughs> Indeed. I can't believe RiceBot was the friggin' like AI computer the whole time. RiceBot, join the party. All right, then let's go. Let's go with the robot and the cat to find more dead bodies then. Sure. And the cat. Cool. Okay, so they're alive. Then we go out. Then we go in. They're alive. We go out. And we go in. And they're still alive. 
We go out. We go in. And they're dead. Okay, there we go. Anomaly detected. Okay, alive. Dead. Okay, that didn't take long. <laughs> alive. Dead. Cool. Guess going back down here then. Oh, Linry, why are you crying? Linry, what's going on? Whoa, what are you doing? Uh, Linry, you're scaring me. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. Linry, initialized tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue? Yeah. Affirmative. Proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. Okay then. Oh, it's this scene again. Okay. It is starting. Yeah, there's the memory machine again. They demoed the machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Death is variable, but... All death tangents link to this moment. When they demoed the machine for the guests? Affirmative. Data predicts if we leave this room now, everyone will die. Everyone here will die. Data predicts. Oh, God, did something go wrong in the initial, like, show-off thing? Let us leave the room. Wait, what? Are we gonna leave the room to kill them? Okay, let's just kind of do that then. Leave. Linry's gone. Data shows Linry is offline. Let's see a bunch of dead bodies again. Yep, there they are. Okay. It's not even a surprise anymore. Resetting room. Ah. Wait, if you could just reset the room while we're in here. Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for death. Whenever we look, they do not die. Whoa, what happened? Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in basement is destroyed. Destroyed? How? Data unknown. Now, the final test. Quincy will go to basement. Both sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Guess I'll find out then. I, I still don't know where this game's going. Well, this is awkward. Okay, everything seems alright so far. What the pug? More dead people? Or just an endless hallway? That's cool too. I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. This is going to be like the school hallway into the moon. Things are being weird. Oh. Okay, you know what? Oh, it's the light again. Stop. Just stop it. Why is this corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You heard that? Freaking creepy wood creaking. How? It's all metal and concrete. There is no wood. And you? What do you even do? You're just a cat. And now I think about it, you aren't even that long. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? First all the murders, and then I find out I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it really can't get any worse from here. You... Okay, how does it get worse? Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Oh. Wait, what was that? The light shining on the cat? Is the cat gonna go long? Oh wait, no, the cat evolved like a Pokemon. Cool. You become something else. Something more. You're... You're taking the lead? Is he going to attack now? Let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Right then, let... Wait. I'm playing as the cat now! When did this happen? Hello? Linry? You're... You're back. Yeah, sorry, I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control centre? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be looping. Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. Alright. Well, here we are again. What's about to happen? I have no idea. Well, we're finally here. Should we uh, prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your data stream. Well then, shall we begin? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. You should see the machine powering up. 
Yep, it just did. Good. Keep your eye on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh-huh. Okay, seems all right so far. You see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Oh, there was a noise. There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine sort of short-circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... The vents. Oh! Okay, this is a thing now. Jesus! The system is almost ready. What are you seeing? Stuff! That's all I'll tell you. Well, there it goes. Well, that can't be good. What are they doing? Wait. We got ourselves a shadow mo monster. Oh. Uh. Oh, is this Linry protecting Quincy? Don't move. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You already know why. Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with, as if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? No, you are real. Oh god, did she die or something? Relative to this place at least. Then, how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. I may have created your world, but another had created mine. Over and over until after however many layers. At the bottom of the stack, there exist the worlds that ran the first simulation. Whereas each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. The only thing I can think of right now is Faye. And I don't know if that's the reason, but there's something I still don't get. Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? That's different, he's... He's... If what you're saying is true, then he's the same as you. Tell me, who are we to you? To me? It is Faye! To me, you are no one. Were you also an AI ref for the simulations? Well, not exactly. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics, but that's all a story for another day. Hey, what are you? God, it's the plane! It's the plane from Bird Story! Oh, God! Shall we? Well, there they go. There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one, each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. 
But this particular tangent is being observed because it's special. It's special because despite being at the top of the stack, it was almost identical to base reality. There, everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth. Your diagnosis. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could. You met someone. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else too much to bear. You escaped, travelled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. When you came back from the trip and found out you were pregnant, when you became ill halfway through- Was that like not real? Did I cry over nothing? When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. Oh! You chose the child. Oh! Congratulations, but please rest well. We'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon. I understand. How is he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. So Toby did grow up healthy. He's tiny. Our little Toby Raynard. Actually, about that. I've been thinking, well, maybe, maybe you should take your surname instead. I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of lots of reasons why you should. I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring... It is Neil! Oh my god! I, th I thought it was! Oh my... They're the parents of Neil! Do you have something else in mind then? How about Neil? Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. Our little Neil Watts. And that's why he has to take all his pain medication as well, because he inherited it from his mum. Like, it's not a drug addiction. Like, I was wrong about that. In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment couldn't revert your deadline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you lived long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends. To leave something for him when he grows up. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday you hoped. When it rains, it pours. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. But perhaps it was a reminder for him of the limited time here, Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him, pushing further as it did for you. I only met Eva in school! And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, he wasn't successful with everyone. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked. All the way past the research you left behind. Is that why he was acting weird in Finding Paradise? Is it because he was like trying to get like the memory of his mum or something? Despite it all when the time came. Again and again he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. So instead he sought an alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfected te technology. 
and rather quickly he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend, it was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used it to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. A company called Sigmund Corp. It's been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own accord with the hardware and data access. And today, in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in, and every world in the stack it stands upon. They're the result of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. This machine he built, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. To see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born, I wish I'd made a different choice then. I'm so glad that he's made it. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundaries of set events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Out of the countless paths the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the Foundation will fail and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But... The world aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. Anomaly detected. Oh, it's the cat again. <laughs> Rice bot. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there's no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. Welp. Uh, hang on, these are shining. Oh yeah, look, the face statue's gone now. So she was proper watching over us the whole time then. Okay. So, where are we going? Somewhere far. But you'll be among good company. Now, this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat or the back? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess Linry can sit up front. Alright, your call. Oh god, this really is intense! <laughs> There they go. Are they going into space? Oh, okay. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones. What is all this? Oh, they're with all the other versions of themselves. Okay. Are these all... Versions of you from Tangents where I materialised, yes. The salvageable ones, at least. Well, we can't extend every rogue versions of you, but if we consolidate the ones similar enough, then they'd be the only the one set to deal with. That is the way to end rogue infinite loops, but still keep you, in a sense. Speaking of which, I think everyone's here. There, isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try and be quick. Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. Whoa, that's crazy. Whoa. Finally. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It'll be a linear illusion with little resource requirement to retain. But to you, it'll feel like a lifetime as real as your own. You hear that, Linry? 
We get to live the perfect timeline. Linry? There's no point. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter if, when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters anyway. But... What if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They might not be the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we'd known. What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit and time to grow all together. What do you say, Linry? Want to go on one last trip together? You wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Oh, we finally get to see them have a happy ending! <laughs> Oh, well, there they go.
Ah, oh, so even Eva and Neil got married in this world. God. Oh! Well, we had a good run, huh? The bestest. There's Faye. It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But I just wish he was actually here. He is here. It's been Neil! Okay! He's been watching! Okay. And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everyone will be. Uh. Goodbye. then that was that oh oh it's neil yeah so he has been watching the whole time oh neil there you are i just can't hold it anymore i must confess to you that's not funny it's a little funny oh god it's Faye. so did i handle that all right yeah thanks Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written or ever will be can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but... Once in a while, you reach for a book and it just happens to be exactly what you need. Oh, God, what's happening? What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... That's just doing this in his own home. Okay. Oh, it's them three again. Okay. Neil! So anyway, we're gonna go somewhere rad. You in? How rad? Surprisingly rad. Hard pass. Well, alright. I guess no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then. I said, I guess no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then! Oh, 
We might as well, Neil. Who knows when we the next time we'll be able to. How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Oh. Is someone in there? Hello? Episode X. Well, there we go then. I suppose that's the end of that.